Hi there, this is Max with Dapri.io. In this short video, I want to show how to use the Cordova Vibrate API with an Ionic and Angular GS app. Now let's get started, and I'm going to create a brand new app. And I'm going to call this Ionic Vibrate. And select Ionic Angular GS template and click Create. All right, we got a brand new app. Let's open the Pages folder. Now the index is the template. We'll just set the, the header here very quickly. So say Ionic app. Maybe we can change the, the color. All right, so that's it for the index. Let's open the, the actual page. Now for the UI, we'll use a, the car component and we'll make this Cridova API vibrate. API. Now here we'll use an input component and we'll get a button component as well. Now the input component will specify for how many seconds to vibrate and then this will actually invoke the vibrate uh, API. So this is vibrate. We can set the same color as the, as, the, as the header and then we can make it to be the entire screen width, right? Here we're also going to change the type for the input to a number, right? And we can say here duration, all right? So that's it for the UI. Uh, now to get the Cordova API, uh, we need to, uh, we're going to go to create new and select from plugin. Now the actual Cordova library uh, is automatically installed in the app. So what we're doing here is just importing a service that uh, helps work with the vibration uh, API. So you don't have to write any code at all. So it's kind of a wrapper on top of the Cordova API. And we're gonna click import. And now the service is now available. Now before we use the service, we're gonna quickly jump to project and select model. And we're gonna create a client model that will hold the duration for us. So this will be maybe vibrate with just one property duration. All right, let's go back to the page. Notice I'm in design view. I'm going to switch to scope and add the variable that I just created uh, to the scope. Oh, sorry, it's vibrate. Um, and of type vibrate. All right, now let's create a function. So do uh, I'll call this phone. Click add. And now to add the function, the service invocation, we can just select the service and just do drag and drop. Just as simple as that, and we get all the code. Um, next, we need to just map uh, the scope to the service. So we're going to cl click this button mapping. And just using drag and drop, right? So uh, map the scope uh, to the service and click save here. And then the code is automatically generated for us. Now let's go back to design. And now we have to bind the page to the scope. So first let's take care of the button. We're going to say, uh, I just press control space bar and you can see I get the function. And now for here, control space bar, that's the object inside scope and the, the property, all right? And that's it. Now one thing is that testing this directly in the browser won't work in this particular case because we're using a native API. So for that, I'm going to use the IPRIO uh, tester app uh, that allows you to test your hybrid application uh, without having to install it, but still directly on a device. So let me just show it to you. So you can see this is the IPRIO tester app. And again, uh, I'm just going to click refresh and you can see that Ionic Vibrate is the app that I just created. And then tapping the app, and then you can again test your app on the device without having to install it. All right, and then we can enter, again, maybe two seconds. So this is two seconds, and then click Vibrate. Now, obviously, uh, you can't see the phone vibrate, but again, it is vibrating. And if we need to, we can change it to maybe one second. Click Vibrate again, all right? Um, so as you can see, Adding this Cordova API is, is very simple and very fast. And also testing the app is also very simple, just using the app or your tester. So definitely give this a try. And uh, thank you for watching.